Welcome to First Christian Church Midweek Moment. The story I'm going to share today, the author is unknown. I just found it so interesting and so very typical of us uh, at the beginning of the story. To understand the Bible, the, the stories in the Bible were spoken to the people of the time. And sometimes we have to look into under, we have to look into the situation to understand what was being said. And this story is along those lines. A group was doing a Bible study and they were in Malachi chapter three, verse three. And it reads, and he sat as a refiner and purifier of silver. Now, not too many of us know much about refining and purifying silver. So it puzzled the group in the Bible study, just what were they talking about? What was this about? So one woman in the study offered to find out. And so that week, she went to visit a silversmith she knew and made an appointment to watch him work. She didn't mention why she was there or for the reason of her interest beyond her curiosity about the process of refining silver. As he watched the silversmith, he held a piece of silver over the fire and let it heat up. And he explained that in refining silver, you have to hold it in the hottest part of the fire. So you have to hold it right over the center of the fire. So it, all the impurities in the silver will burn away. Now think about that. If God is watching over us as a refiner and purifying silver, is he holding us onto the hot spot to burn away some of our impurities or to give us maybe a little bit of a lesson. She asked the silversmith if it was true they had to sit in front of the fire the whole time the silver was being refined. And he explained to her that he had to because you have to keep your eyes on the silver the entire time it's in the fire. If the silver was left even a moment too long, then it becomes damaged. So think about that. God's not going to let us get damaged. Then she asked, well, how do you know when it's done? And he smiled at her and he said, that's easy when I see my image in it. I don't know if this just spoke to me for the fact that God is with us and he is watching us and we are never alone. Just like the silversmith has to watch the silver to refine it. Through our lives, God is always with us and helping us to become better and to show his love. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give thanks for your constant presence in our lives and for guiding us and being with us even in those tough times when we're being held to point. May we learn from all those lessons that life gives us and may we be encouraged to know that we are never alone. In your name we pray, amen.